about typical snake habitat we might imagine exotic tropical jungles or parched desert landscapes but here in cold wet old blighty we actually have three species of snake the barred grass snake the smooth snake and our one and only venomous reptile the adder Lindsay travelled to the Midlands to find out why the common adder is not quite so aptly named and is yet another native species that's clinging on for survival in the wild. As the UK's only venomous snake, the adder has long suffered a negative public image. But these handsome looking reptiles aren't actually aggressive and would much prefer to slither off into the undergrowth and get out of our way. But as humans have started to encroach on their habitat, adder populations have plummeted. Ecologist Nigel Hand is working hard to try and reverse this trend. So what are the main problems facing our adders at the moment? There's a number of problems. Generally, there's not enough habitat or that they're at very low numbers and uh, disturbance, they're not always catered for in the management side of things. And is the Midlands particularly bad? Yes, the Midlands and Southern England, basically because of the density of urbanisation in those areas, they're pushed into fringes of habitat, small areas of habitat. If they're isolated to islands of habitat, there's no other adders filtering on or off that site, so they're just going to breed within themselves for a long, long time, really. It would be a, a travesty to lose them. They are an important part of our nature and they're all part and parcel of, of, of that bigger chain of, 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 of wildlife really. We lose them, we, we lose all the blocks to that group of animals. Careful land management is vital to make sure that isolated adder populations are connected to avoid inbreeding. Ian Carter from the National Trust is responsible for this site. Hey Ian, hiya. How's Lindsay. Good to see you. What's happening here? So we're, we're um, managing the bracken in a really sensitive way. Uh, it's like a roller with these bars across it, which bruises the bracken. So next year when it grows back, it'll grow back um, very weak and more stunted, which is the perfect habitat for the snakes. That's just how they like it. And this gentle method of land management is a lifesaver. The adders must be able to sense the horses much more than a, a great big machine that just flattens and packs the ground. OK, Twinkle and Ivy, here we go. Ah, they're very responsive. Hey. Good girl. Not bad for a beginner, mate. <laughs> yeah. That's it, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Perfect. There are thought to be around 40 adders on this land. Nigel must monitor the area to make sure numbers don't drop. What I want to see is that they're breeding regularly, so you go out early in the spring to count animals as they freshly emerge from hibernation. But later in the year, you're looking at other num lots of young around. So females only breed every two to four years. So if you've got a small population, changes in the population are going to take a long time to show, if they ever do, you know. Finding these shy and retiring creatures in the wild is never guaranteed. Their cryptic patterning makes them almost impossible to spot. You get them sat here on the moss. The vegetation is exactly the same colour as they are. Sometimes you have to look very hard because there's the little baby ones around as well at this time of year. And they just blend into this bracken so beautifully. Finally, Nigel's expert eye pays off. Oh, there's one. Oh, just in there. Just on top of the leaf. That is amazing. It's a female. Absolute stunner. It's amazing the camouflage of that snake within the bracken there. So what are you going to do now? Tim? I'm just going to take a shot of the head because I want to get a photo of the head mark. Can you see Absolutely that? beautiful, look at that. And it's not long before our luck strikes again. And it just gets better. This looks like one of this year's babies. Oh yeah, yeah, just there. So the females, they give birth to live young? Yes. They tend to have anything from three to about ten. Okay. Um, and they're all born wrapped in this little membrane that they break out of on, on being born. And what's going to happen to this one now? This one will hibernate in the area that we've seen it in. It may catch a lizard in the next few weeks if it still stays warm, but if we get very cold nights, they're less likely to eat then, uh, because they've got to have optimal temperatures to, to digest their prey. They need to be about 30, 32 degrees, you know, that's their, their active body temperature. Yeah. Uh, so if it goes very cold, they can't digest their food. 
What a day! Two new adders that haven't been seen here before. A really positive sign for this site. The hard work looks like it's paying off. They're on the sites that we've managed, which is really good. And we've actually seen a young one, which is a good indicator that they're still breeding and they're surviving. So, but we'd like to see more, really, and we'd like to see them spread over a wider area. Unfortunately, habitat loss is affecting all of our native wildlife here in the UK, but it's clear that with sensitive management, we can make a difference.